Hello once again, welcome to another edition of Sports Updates Ghana. My name is Joseph Adamafio and coming up, the Black Stars have left their base here in Accra and are headed to another region where they will come up against Zimbabwe in the 2022 World Cup qualifier. Well, there's a new update because the match is not going to be played at the Cape Coast Sports Stadium anymore per media reports that have come in. But as usual, if you are new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, share and don't forget to leave a comment. So now let's delve into details. So the Black Stars left their base here in Accra ahead of their 2022 World Cup qualifier against Zimbabwe. The match which will be played on Saturday is yet to be known. Uh, the venue is yet to be known because the Cape Coast Sports Stadium has not been approved by FIFA as the Ghana Football Association have opted to play at the Lenclay Sports Stadium per media reports. Well, the Ghana Football Association are yet to release a statement clarifying whether the Black Stars are headed to Obuasi, that's Kumasi or Cape Coast in the central region. Well, most of the players who have been invited to camp arrived in the country on Monday night and moved to camp at the Alisa Hotel in Accra where coach Milovan Rajivak and some of his technical staff have been camping at for the last couple of days. Some of the local players have also been with coach Milovan Rajivak and well uh, I hope you know by now that some players have been dropped from the 32 man list and now the Black Stars are left with 27 players in camp. Not all the players have reported to camp though but some of the players who were dropped were due to some personal reasons the likes of Emmanuel JC, Mubarak Wakasu, Alfred Duncan and Tariq Fosu did not make the trip to Ghana and do not make the trip to Harai where Ghana will play against Zimbabwe three days that's Monday after playing uh, Zimbabwe here in Ghana on Saturday well uh, Kumasi Kotoko new captain that's Abdul Ganiu was dropped uh, from the team as well the reason for his exclusion from the team has not been made known but the player uh, was in train with the Kumasi base side uh, on their pre-season uh, training at Ajingano. Uh, let's delve in and talk more because Dortmund assistant coach that's Otto Ado, who is now serving as one of the deputy assistant coaches to Milovan Rajivak was also pictured in camp and he was also on board uh, the bus that's moving towards an unknown um, uh, region right now whether it's Kumasi or Cape Coast Sports Stadium but you watching there what do you think for me i think the uh, coach or the bus is headed towards uh, kumas because i've traveled on that stretch before and i know uh, that stretch very well and that is kumasi Otto Ado was pictured uh, with uh, his former teammate that olele kingston having some third at third before they uh, were on board well olele played with Otto Ado during their heydays. Uh, I remember they played at the 2006 World Cup. That's where I first got to know Otto Ado. Well, Ole Lekinston is the um, goalkeeper's trainer for the Black Stars and now Otto Ado is deputizing as one of the assistant coaches for the Black Stars. So, Coach Milovan is being assisted by Maxwell Konedu and Coach Otto Ado, who is an assistant coach and a skills trainer for Dortmund in Germany. Well, Mohamed Kudus was also pictured with the team. The player makes a return to the team for the first time after missing out on a couple of matches due to injuries. He was also with our star player, star player of the week. That's commanding Suleimana, who got an assist in the game against PSG. That's so Messi, <laughs> Messi's PSG succumbed to uh, FC Rene. Also in camp were the IU brothers. But, um... Meanwhile, meanwhile, the venue of the game is yet to be decided because the Ghana Football Association is yet to release a statement. But I dig down and came across some um, media reports that suggest that earlier in 2021, CAF and FIFA sent a report to the Ghana Football Association telling them that if they don't get the Cape Coast Sports Stadium in order they will reject the uh, stadium in subsequent matches. It has proven clearly that 
cough and fever are not enthused with the state of the Cape Coast Sports Stadium and <laughs> interestingly enough the club licensing board uh, and uh, the Ghana Football Association have even turned down the newly renovated Babayara Sports Stadium and also the Accra Sports Stadium because the pitch is not in a good state although uh, the Ministry of Sports have renovated the Babayara Sports Stadium the club licensing board says it's not fit for any Ghana uh, for even the Ghana Premier League and if the club licensing board has even turned down the Bavaria Sports Stadium. What about cough and fever? So those are the updates for today. I will be bringing you updates in subsequent editions. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like, share, and don't forget to leave a comment. Well, let me know in your the comment section where you think the Black Stars are headed to. Is it Kumasi or Cape Coast Sports Stadium? My name is Joseph Adamafu, and this has been another edition of Sports Updates Ghana.